Hey guys, and welcome to a very, very long overdue uh, update video. Um, so, uh, start at the beginning. Um, as some of you know, uh, I was moving uh, to a new place um, in the heart of the city, no less. Um, and that actually went fairly smoothly. Uh, we moved in about six, seven weeks ago. Um, one of the main reasons that I really wanted to move out was to have my own recording and streaming room, essentially. Um, obviously, there's loads of other reasons why I wanted to move out as well uh, with my partner. But the main, or should I say the biggest um, boon for me was going to be... Um, uh, no more interruptions and uh, a nice comfortable workspace where I can just relax and uh, my PC at a desk and all that kind of good stuff. You know, not really asking much. Um, so we did loads of research and we found this place. This place uh, is a basement flat. Um, it's kind of difficult to say that because that, that's really, it's a lot more than that. It, that doesn't really give it the right impression. But basically, the price is right. Um, it's right in the heart of, of the city. Um, it's two minutes walk away from my work and my partner's work. And it's in a gigabit fiber area. Yeah? Yeah? Pretty cool, right? <laughs> However, shortly after moving in, actually technically two days before we moved in, we started um, running into some issues with the internet, shall we say. We were told, uh, actually when I looked up on Ofcom, Ofcom's website, if you don't know, uh, Ofcom is the governing body that um, overlooks, shall we say, the UK's internet infrastructure. And um, Ofcom said that we can get standard copper broadband. Who gives a fuck? Nobody wants it. It should have been scrapped years ago. But hey, you can get that. We can't get super fast fibre here because our green box cabinet has not been upgrade, upgraded. That's fine. We... You know, it would be, it, I don't mind super fast fiber, that's good. That's actually really good. But we didn't have that. But we did have the gigabit fiber available. Not coming soon. Not um, in the planning stage. Not in the building stage. Actually gigabit fiber ready. Right? So uh, I spoke to the landlord and he said, yeah, yeah. He doesn't really understand the internet. He, he doesn't get it. So uh, when I spoke to him about the internet speeds, he was, yeah, you know, speeds are fine. Um, you know, speeds are okay. They get no issues. So I was like, all right, fair enough, fair enough. I spoke to the previous tenants um, and they said they only had copper broadband but fiber is available. So I was like, yeah, that's fine. Ideal. Spoke to a friend who lives kind of over the way from me. Yep, they've got gigabit fiber. So I was like, you know, great. We moved in and we tried every single um, ISP. Well, not every single. There's like 400 of them. But we tried the main, the eight of the main ones. Um, and we were told everything from we don't have copper cables anymore, which a bit fishy, but fine. Um, all the way up to we can't serve you because you, you don't have the infrastructure for standard fiber. You can only get gigabit fiber. So I was like, okay, that's fine. So we phoned up companies that dealt with gigabit fiber and they have been telling us that actually, no, you don't have gigabit fiber. Uh, you only have standard broadband. But we can't sell you standard broadband because 
you don't have the cables. So this went back and forth for about six weeks till eventually, two weeks ago, we were supposed to, well, two weeks and two days ago, uh, we were told that we'd ordered our package and um, everything was fine, everything's going ahead and you'll be switched on, you'll, you'll be connected. So we waited and we waited and we waited and we waited and then fuck it, we waited some more and nothing happened. Nothing happened. So I phoned them up and got told that my order had been lost. So I was like, okay. Your incompetence is kind of getting frustrating now because we're six weeks without the internet. Oh, and before that, we actually went with a company called Plusnet um, who told us it was going to take a month to get connected because all their engineers were busy. Um, and so I phoned them up two weeks after ordering that and paying for it. I paid £80 for that. Um, and then I decided one day, I'm going to phone them up, see if I can fast order and get the internet installed. And they said, oh no, uh, has nobody told you? Your your package has been cancelled. I said, uh, no, no one's told me. I said, uh, I haven't got an email or nothing. So yeah, yeah, yeah you've, you've been cancelled because you you can only get gigabit fibre. And I almost lost it with a guy because I'm like, but we can't get gigabit fiber. I can open my fucking door and I can see the fiber cable, but it doesn't come into the house. But anyway, so so that was a huge load of old bullshit right there. Um, and anyway, so we finally got BT to agree to give us a service after a couple of times telling us that they can't serve us because we don't have copper cables. They eventually sent somebody um, from OpenReach to actually look at the uh, look at the green box and this guy must have been a genius because he actually found the cables. And we were supposed to go live and they lost our order. So fast forward a week after phoning up and them apologizing to us um they actually put the order through and i got all the confirmation emails and whatnot and we were supposed to go live last monday so <clears throat> we waited and we waited and we fucking waited some more we even i even got the text message saying congratulations your your service has just gone live blah 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 and i was like but the light on the route is still red so i thought all right give it another half hour or something looked at the router and fucking light is still red so i phoned them up and they ran all sorts of tests and they said oh um your router must have been faulty so we're going to fast order you out a new one. It'll be with you in two days because we were two minutes over the line of five o'clock. So they couldn't fast track it the next day. Um, so I was like, okay. And they upgraded us. They gave us like the best router they offer, which kind of a bit of a piss take. If you go to an ISP and you order a service, you expect them to send the latest and best kit, but whatever. So anyway, the new router arrived two days later. Plugged it all in. Got it all ready. Fucking thing was red, wasn't it? Well, actually, no, it wasn't. It was flashing purple, which is the same thing as it being red. So I phoned them up. Um, after about two and a half hours of being on the phone, they decided that actually your routers are fine, but there's a problem on the line. So we had to wait another four days, I think it was. No, it was another two days, sorry, for an engineer to come out. And luckily enough, they actually sent uh, the engineer out a day earlier, which was good because, yay, we get connected faster. Um, but we had plans to wait in for the engineer on the Friday. We had no plans to see the engineer on a Thursday. We were both working, so that was a fucking pain in the balls. So I had to go home early and wait. And... Uh, the engineer that we spoke to said there's no reason you can't have fiber. You have a gigabit fiber node less than 50 meters from your door. Like, I know. I can see it. 
Um, you can't get fibers to the cabinet because your cabinet is beyond obsolete and basically not fit for service. And in the green box cabinet, she said there's about five tickets, uh, red tickets, for engineers complaining about how bad this is. And she actually said she's not sure how there's a green cabinet in this condition allowed in Truro City. Um... And on top of that, when she was going through all the information on that cabinet, it was due to be upgraded. Yeah, yeah, it's already been due to be upgraded. So great, we thought. But it was due to be upgraded January 2018. So next month, it's already two years overdue to be upgraded. Um, now, if I go on to the website, which tells you all of the information... Um, when your boxes and whatnot are being upgraded and, and all the work that's going on. It says, we have no plans currently to upgrade your area. So, what the fuck is going on? Um, so, <clears throat> so, basically, I've been phoning uh, loads and loads of ISPs. I've been phoning OpenReach, I've been phoning BT to try and get this sorted. We're being, uh, our situation is now being looked into. Whatever that means. I don't know. I'm going to phone them up again. But anyway, we do have broadband now. And it's copper broadband. We had faster broadband um, at my old place 15 years ago. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Not five years ago. 15 years ago. Um, I think it was when the Xbox 360 had just come out. And we, we were playing, uh, I think it was like Halo 2. Um, cause Halo 3 hadn't come out yet but we were playing um, Halo 2 online on the Xbox 360 through a fibre connection and that was in 2006 possibly 2007 um, but down here we don't have fibre I was speaking to the woman on the phone said you do realise that we're almost in the year 2020 I go outside the house and the 4G connection on my phone is about six to seven times faster. So, you know, it's absolutely unacceptable service. Um, but anyway, it's being looked into and I'm going to keep chasing it up. <sighs> but I don't know what I can realistically do. Um, our download is about... Well, it's all over the place, to be honest with you. It's supposed to be 24 megabit, which, yeah, that's okay. That That's acceptable. It's slow. But we can get by with that. That's fine. No worries. You know, we might have to leave a computer on all night to download a game. Not the end of the world. Now, our upload... <laughs> our upload has a maximum of one megabit. That's the maximum. I've never really seen one megabit when we've done the, uh, the, the speed tests. It's usually around 0 0.30 to 0 0.50 megabit. That essentially is useless. Um, to put it into context, you need about 5 megabit to have a decent uh, streaming experience on Twitch. So our upload actually needs to be 10 times faster just to have the, the average streaming quality on Twitch. Uh, to upload one of my normal videos, which is 1080p, 60 frames a second, uh, half an hour, that was going to take 36 hours to upload one of those videos. Um, and I put a test run on, and it got to about the 12 hour mark and then lost connection and failed the upload. So, yeah, I mean, so basically what I'm trying to tell you guys is, um, move to this new house, really excited, it, it was going to be start of great new things for the YouTube channel, we're going to be able to pump out content. No huge travel times, you know, to and from work and all that kind of shit. I can get home, I can relax, no interruptions. It's going to be fucking gravy. But no. Nope, it's um, 
kind of been the opposite to the point where I'm sitting here thinking, have I just killed my YouTube channel, my eight years of work and my favorite hobby like that I've ever had and the, the only hobby that I've really stuck to and, and consistently enjoyed? Have I just moved and just killed that? But obviously, we're not going to give up. I'm going to keep pushing, um, should we say. I'm going to keep pushing for it because you, they can't leave us with, with these internet speeds. Um, it, I mean, in 2027, um, Britain's supposed to be turning its copper network off. And we're all supposed to be running on gigabit fiber. So, <laughs> hey, I mean, you know, in in, in in seven years, we might have gigabit fiber. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep pushing anyway. Uh, I'm kind of worried. This video is now like 17 odd minutes long. <laughs> uh, I, so that's going to be what? This video is going to take fucking hours to upload anyway. Um, but, yeah. Kind of stuck at the moment, guys, but I wanted to give an update because I've noticed since I've been away from my YouTube channel, I expected the numbers to start plummeting, but they're not, they're growing. In fact, I've had a really, since I've been away this month, I think I've had one of my best months ever. Hey, hmm, maybe there's, maybe there's something to that. Maybe if I, <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I mean, I've always said that I'm not going to give up YouTube and I'm not because I love it. Uh, I've always loved it, but I just physically can't do anything at the moment. Um, although maybe with a few, I'm going to test a few things, uploading videos on 4G on my phone. Uh, maybe we'll upload some smaller videos, uh, start a new series or something just to fill the void. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I'm going to try and get something sorted anyway. Um, oh, yeah, and on top of that, my main PC is actually um, <laughs> fucked anyway because it needs new memory. Um, that actually happened before I moved, but, I mean, I'm limited to my laptop that I've got here, so whatever my laptop can handle. I'm going to try running it on the capture card tomorrow. I have my doubt. Uh, but failing that, we'll try and get some smaller, more basic games uploaded i don't know so anyway guys thank you very much for staying with me um it's nice to see the numbers like still going up you know i've never i've never even cared about numbers you know uh, you know um it is what it is you know you want to subscribe subscribe if you don't you don't it's fine you know whatever you know the videos aren't going anywhere uh, i do appreciate people subscribing and joining me for the journey because you know it's fun. I love the comments and all that stuff, which I do need to catch up on. Um, but that's the state of things at the moment. Uh, and I would like to say, till next time, guys. Till next time. Thanks for your continued support. I don't know when next time is, but I am going to try and keep you updated. Uh, I'm also going to post in the description of this video my discord i have a discord now uh-huh uh-huh oh yeah we're, we're really in the the world of tomorrow now ladies and gentlemen um which will be a direct link for you lot to obviously keep in contact with me because i don't really do the social media stuff like i do and i post things up there but discord's just a nice um program a nice um ecosystem for sharing everything, you know, because obviously you, you get a group of people that are on Instagram, you get a group of people that are on your Facebook, you get a group of people that are on your um, uh, Instagram, and it's just so disjointed, you know, um, but I'm hoping like the Discord will just tie everything together, and uh, we shall see how that goes. Anyway, this was supposed to be a three minute quick video that I could just hopefully upload within a day, it's now nearly 20 minutes. Hmm. It's weird being in front of the microphone again. I feel like I could talk for another seven or eight hours, but hmm. Hmm. anyway, you guys are probably sick of hearing me from now. I don't know what video is actually going to be <laughs> attached to this audio. Uh, for the sake of ease of processing, I might just put a picture here and you can you can close down your browser and listen to me waffle and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, so that's where we are. Um, fuck knows. Fiber is coming. 
but then so is the end of the universe you know um what's going to come first i don't know but anyway guys thank you very much for your continued continued support and uh, hopefully at some point please before april because resident evil 3 has just been announced and if i if i can't fucking stream that heads are gonna roll somewhere um i don't mean zombie heads although maybe bt is staffed by zombies and open range mm. that might explain a thing or two yeah because i didn't i didn't actually tell you uh when they um repaired the line the woman that came around uh, actually said we'd been wired up into the wrong socket. So, yeah, maybe they're just monkeys. Apart from the woman that came around. She was called Zoe. She was really nice. She knew what she was talking about. And she also said that our our green box exchange uh, was so old, the actual clips that they used to connect all of our cables in haven't been produced for 15 years. So... Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, guys, I really am going to go now because uh, I'm already kind of shitting my pants about how I'm actually going to upload this. So thanks for staying with me, guys. Hopefully content is coming soon. I don't know what I'm going to do, but hopefully I'm going to sort something out within the next few weeks. But if I don't hear from you, if you don't hear from me um, for a while, have a great Christmas, a happy holiday, whatever the fuck you celebrate eat cake, open presents, all that good shit. And as always, guys, I'll see you next time.